and welcome to Pay the Pool Man. Today we're going to walk through auto billing settings. So first thing we'll do is look up a customer and we're going to click on our auto bill settings here just so we can see what it looks like. Also so you know you can also click this here and it's going to take you to your auto bill settings. So we'll go ahead and edit this. We'll change the price. We can change the mode here at any time. We can also change the list. Make sure if you do have customers set for secondary, you do have secondary open in your settings page. We can also change this code here. So this code tells the system when you run your billing, what month to put in here. So essentially if we have previous month selected and we're billing say in July, it's going to show up for June and that will continue that way until you make a change to this code. So say we like it to say the month we're in, we are going to select current month. Make sure these plus signs are included. If they are not, this will just say current month. So we wanna make sure we've got those in there and we'll save our changes. And let's go take a look at our run billing. So run billing is simple. We'll just put in some dates so we can see what this invoice will look like. We run our billing. We have pending invoices below. We can scroll down. We see we have one to email. We'll edit. And here we can see that code we entered. So because we're in the month of June, it says June here. It would show differently for different codes. We can make any changes. We'll save this invoice and we'll go ahead and delete this batch so that we don't have to keep it on our page. And next let's take a look at our settings page. So here in settings, we're going to make a few changes to see what it's going to do to our auto billing. So let's turn on per stop. Let's turn on weekly and let's turn on auto charge for chemicals as well as that secondary list. So let's see what these different options show different on our account. So we'll go to run billing. Now we see we have more options. We've got a primary and secondary list. We've got the month for weekly billing, we can bill per stop by the month or by the date range. We bill for chemicals by the date range, and then we can add mass billing items and comments to both of these different lists. So let's see what this does to our customer's view. So we'll go to the monthly auto billing, click edit. Now we see we have some different options. So the best part about auto billing is it's customizable to your customer. So if some customers are per stop or per week, or maybe some customers aren't billed for chemicals or are, you can use these toggle buttons here to customize this customer. So we'll say this customer just needs to be billed for chemicals. They're not per stop or per week. We can save those changes. And there's another video to show auto charging for chemicals. But essentially, this is going to be your auto bill settings. If you need to turn anything on, it's going to be handled here in the company settings page. And you'll see those changes as well on the run billing page. Okay, thanks for stopping by. Oh,